All right, just a few more. Eddie. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Sash Math with 5Bananas.com. Um, I just uh, actually want to talk to Chris and, you know, with this platform going on in the tournament style, and I know that you have this like animosity towards each other. How do you see yourself going through and getting a quick finish, but keeping yourself unscathed going into the final? I mean, when, when I go in there, I don't really try to pick to that extent where you're looking to like be unscathed and find a way to fight where like you don't um, sustain anything because in the past I tried to like, you know, this is my fourth PFL playoff in the first like one or two, especially with the, when we were doing two fights in one night, I was doing stuff like that. I was trying to engineer the first fight and say like, all right, how can I go unscathed through the first bout so that the second bout I'm not like, so beat up that I can't win because it was like an hour later that the or 45 minutes later that you're walking again and in 2019 with uh Loic at 55 that really played against me I like I took this like full-blown grappling approach in the first fight trying to like go um untouched and then I like my arms were gassed my my legs were gassed I had no juice for for the second opponent. So um, I, I threw that shit out. I stopped trying to do that. I take fights as, as they go now. You're, I've fought so many times. I've sparred so many times. I've been training for so long that you got to just, you know, take each bout how it goes. If you could follow up on that, um, basically, um, I'm sorry, I just kind of blinked there. Uh, That's all good. So follow, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, Actually, if I could s switch over to Brennan, uh, I apologize about that. Um, Brennan, now hearing that as well, uh, do you have, what's your point of view on that, trying to get through this fight and looking to surpass him, knowing that he does have those four uh, seasons of experience? Um, yeah, he's got four seasons, but he's got zero championships. So it's like, you know, you can talk about the four seasons all you want, bro. Like, it don't mean shit, really. So like, yeah. You know, he's a tough guy. There's not taking it away from him. He's tough. You know, he walks forward, likes to block with his nose. I mean, come on. Like, he's done well in these tournaments. But coming over to England and fighting me in my back garden, it's just a different ball game, mate. It really is. And it's like, we can sit here and dress the fight up, talk about I'm going to do this, he's going to do that. But at the end of the day, 20th of August, next Saturday, we're going to have a fucking scrap, mate. We're going to lock the door and have a fight. That's it. I block with my face. Look at your nose. Who blocks with their face? Bro, you literally use your chin as a defense. I've never seen anything like it. Dude, you've been on the floor this season, like on your back. What are you talking about? First time in my career, bro. First time. And you know what? It oh. felt great to oh. find out. You like, your eye was shut. What are you talking it, about? You oh, block. It, what do you block things with besides your face? No, you what? block with in me. I've watched you take spinning hook kicks to the chin and walk forward. I'm like, wow, is it, what is this guy? This guy's zombie or what? You're just a zombie, bro. I fought thousands of zombies, bro. Trust me, thousands of them. I am not just a zombie, bro. Oh, you're a zombie, bro. Trust me. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not a bad thing, but... <laughs> All bro. of bro zombies but like you just walk see, forward and chop. See. You know what I might do to you? I might just take you down where you can't move and just start to have a conversation with you. You know, like what Khabib does sometimes to the guys. I think that's what you might get because I, I, I feel like you need, I need to make you quit and give up. Like you, you're putting it to a point I, where I need to break your ego. Like you need to be broken. You really do. You got okay. too, man, too much. Good luck with that, bro. Too much to say. Good luck, brother. Mike, I'm going to actually just one. drop it there. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Hello, Brendan. Hello, Chris. Mike Owens here. Um, anyone who's been on this call this afternoon or who's followed the, the build-up of this fight is, can see the, the tension is evident between you two. Um, so I'd like to ask both of you individually, can you give me one thing you feel your opponent does better than you, skill set-wise? Chris, your first seed, so I'd like to ask you first, if possible. No, fuck him. <laughs> there he is, the little bitch. He's getting mad now again. Look at him. Little I am bitch. Dead. 
Look at him, you're getting twitchy, bro. Relax, calm down, man. Get it all fucking irate, bro. Relax, it's a media day. I'll see you next week. Could I, could I turn the question to Brendan, if possible, please? Brendan, could you give me one thing that skill is Chris does better than you skill set wise? Um, nah, I don't think he does anything better than me. I really don't. I really don't. I think I'm a much better mixed martial artist than Chris Wade, and I actually believe that deep in my soul. Right, perfect. Thanks, gents. Cheers, mate. All right, that's all for media questions for today. You all might right. have to. Chris is getting really red. Chris is getting really <laughs> mad. Look, we might have to call it a day, guys. <laughs> Right, I think we should wrap it there. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Of course, we're in Cardiff this weekend, uh, August 13th at the Motor Point Arena. And then the weekend after, we've got uh, this fight as well as uh, the, the women's featherweights, on the, uh, the women's uh, lightweights on the card as well. August 20th at the Copper Box Arena. Brendan, thank you. Chris, thank you. Safe travels yeah. over. I'll see you both in a week. Top man. Cheers, brother. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys.